Yo, what up, people? Therapy on three chapters. I believe we're at chapter 53. 53, ah. Uh, hold on. Don't hold me to that yet. Let's find out. Yes, 53, chapter 53. And your boy, the man, the one, the only, myself, Joe Fucarino. So what up, people? Uh, my bad, yo, I'm late. <laughs> like, I'm mad late. So I'm actually going to be up. This is going to be uploaded on Thursday. And we drop on Monday. I suck. <laughs> All right. So my bad. I've been hustling. But we ain't going to be late again. My bad. My bad. But y'all did get two last week. So, yeah. But not for real. That ain't going to happen again. My bad. We uh, we definitely late. And also, you got you know, got to make you guys crave it. Got to make you guys want it. All right. But um, shout out to the people that hit me up. It was like, yo, where's the podcast? Waiting for what's going on? Where, where we at? So shout out to you guys. Um, I, that's really, really dope. I really appreciate that. So what's been going on? Where, where, are, we, where are we at? Um, I actually started a new job. All right. For y'all, uh, a lot of y'all know I was doing Uber for a while. So I was doing that for, for, for a long time. Um, now I actually do, I'm back to having a regular J-O-B, which I'm not crazy about J-O-Bs because all it really stands for is just over broke. I think we, we mentioned that on the last podcast with Ray. So I'm not too fond, but guess what though? At the end of the day, you know, if you if your goal is, is to get as much streams of income as possible, that's one good stream. Okay. Um, so it's a pretty good one, though. It's pretty good, and I like it because I could do a lot of multitask, and I can work on some of my own shit. So I've actually been working a lot of my, my other side hustles during the same exact time as I'm working my regular job. Okay? Um, I think a lot of y'all should, should start doing shit like that. And that's actually... It's funny. What do you know? <laughs> uh, that's actually kind of what you know. I'm going to be mentioning today. Um time and what we could do kind of better with our time you know the things we can kind of accomplish and overall time time management okay i'm gonna go over um i wrote down a list 11 things that you know i think that we kind of have to realize when we're when we're thinking time and we're thinking time management um so we've definitely touched upon it here on the podcast before, but you know, um, it's kind of the only thing that I think like death is guaranteed. And I, and I, I, I would say time is guaranteed too, because it's, it's man-made, you know, the time someone set that the day is 24 hours, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. However, because we age, I, I, I do feel like time is very important, right? If we didn't age and we we're kind of just like shit was just wild and just free, then I guess it really wouldn't matter. But since we age and we could die tomorrow, time definitely matters. So first of all, with time management, you have to realize Specific time management is a myth. Like time management, that's just a... It's a weird phrase, right? It's, it's bas- this is basically the first thing you have to understand about time management. No matter how organized we are, there are only 24 hours in a day, right? In a single day. So time never changes. However, we can... Like we can make changes, we can manage ourselves, and what we do with our time, you know that there it goes. It helps, okay. So what we do with our time is is really managed because the time is always there, you know. Twenty four hours in a day, we we all know that's what we have. That's what we have to work with, okay. Um, also, so that's that's part of first thing. It's just 
you know, managing ourselves at the end of the day, because we can't manage the time. We can't, you know, say, hey, I want to make this day 23 hours. Nah, you can't do that. Um, second, find out where you're wasting time. Like, you know, at the end of the day, that there's a lot of different things we do that's just kind of wasted time. And I'm not talking about, like, enjoying yourself and relaxing, things like that, but you never know. I'm talking about, like, just scrolling through Instagram and just scrolling. You're not even looking. You're not even paying attention. You're not even getting some likes off. You're kind of just scrolling. You know, stuff like that. The little things. Or, you know, we, we can, we're going to get into multitasking, but... Try to go through your day. Try to really analyze your day, right? Um, and if if you don't actually, let's say you don't remember exactly everything you did all day. Because, you know, we do a lot. Maybe try for like a little trial, you know, every half hour, right? You set an alarm on your phone every half hour. Maybe, you know, maybe not while you're at work. Maybe when you're off. Every half hour you want an alarm and you have to write down pretty much kind of like a detailed on what you did. Right. So you get to kind of see like, okay, this half hour in this day, you know, what did I do? And then you realize, like, oh, I was just in bed, like not even while I was watching commercials, you know, something like that. So then you get to see, okay, bang, that's something I kind of need to focus my energy on is, is not bullshitting around and just kind of, you know, watching these damn commercials. So I think that's one part, you know, trying to find out where you're, you know, you're wasting time. And kind of with that, with the with the reminders, you know, create time management goals. And not goals that are too crazy. You know, like, let's just say you, you feel like, damn, you know, I'm never getting my work done fast enough. I should be getting way more work done at work, blah, blah, blah. You know, try to set a goal. Be like, yo, I'm only going to, you know, use my phone for and answer text messages and Snapchat and all that bullshit. The second half of my work shift, my first work half, you know, the first shift or whatever, I'm going to go ham. I'm going to do my work. I'm not going to look at my phone. I'm going to keep it in my, my book bag or in my jacket. Right. So things like that, you know, so you could obviously get more work done in the time that you have, you know, for that first part. So little things like that, um, you know, it really depends on your situation. So whatever it is at the end of the day, too, with this whole time management thing. You know, I I learn a little as I as I go. I've always been pretty good at it. A lot of people ask me how I get done so much shit, and I really calculate my time. So, if any of you guys ever need some, you know, different, more perspective, anything more specific, hit me up. We'll figure it out. You know, we'll go through your schedule, and we'll get it fixed. So, the next one, you know, basically, you kind of want to set up like a time management plan you know like goals for individual things so whatever you got going on you know you kind of want to set those goals you know like if you're learning spanish okay i'm going to learn spanish for 20 minutes five days a week you know you don't want or i'm going to be in the gym for an hour a day my workout is going to call is going to take me an hour when you when you kind of doing all this it's just it's like math and it's like a puzzle you know when you when you have everything worked out like that it just fits a lot better because if you just say, hey, yeah, I know I'm going to the gym five days a week. But then you realize that once you start going to the gym, you start falling off with other stuff, you know. But if you actually manage it and you kind of fit it in like a puzzle, you can make everything work out a lot smoother. So try that. They also say, like, you know, you could use time management tools, you know, timers, alarm clocks, you know, make alarms. Like, you don't just need an alarm for when you wake up and when, you know, you're going to bed, stuff like that. You could literally make alarms for, you know, at the end of your of TV or if you're watching YouTube, you know, be like, all right, well, because, you know, we all, all subject to clicking next video and just letting it go. And, you know, the Internet's kind of slowly taking us over. But you know, set an alarm, it, you know, a lot of people do do this, but, you know, I'm talking to the people who don't, like, just try it, try setting an alarm, you know, say, hey, I'm gonna watch YouTube for 15, 20 minutes right now, and I'm gonna set my alarm, I gotta start cooking, so try the alarms, try different tools, there's also probably a lot of apps that are probably really, really good for time management, 
also, let's see what else. What else for time management? So, if you, let's say you have a lot, a lot of tasks. Try to prioritize them, you know? Try to figure out, let's say you have 20 tasks you have to do in a day. Prioritize them and map them out again, okay? But prioritize them and figure out what's the most important thing you need to do. Let's get that out the way. Let's get that finished. And then just go kind of down the list, all right? Now, this part is going to seem... It, it may come off wrong, like how I'm going to say because I don't know the right words and shit. But think about... If you really map out and you kind of plan out your day and plan out your week and plan out all your tasks, try to figure out, you know, what honestly could be done by not just you. You know, what... Like, let's just say you have... You know, you're in a relationship and you have a boyfriend and girlfriend maybe they have a little bit more free time than you. There's some people that just don't, you know, they really don't have much on their plate. But if time management is something that you, you know, you have on your mind that you feel like you have to get better at or whatever, you know, maybe in the beginning, see if, if they're able to take up and help you with one of your tasks, you know, you never know. I mean, even like, like I said, it kind of sound crazy, but even your kids, you know, if you have kids, stuff like this is something that they enjoy doing. Or that they like doing, you know? Or, you know, kids... Like, literally, I'm talking, you know, young kids. Like, they would do little things for you that could just really help you out. And save you a lot of time. You throw them a couple bucks. They'll make their day. They'll be so happy. You know? Or you make a point system with them. One of my friends, one of my good friends, does a point system. And I think it's really, really cool. So, if he's if he's good, if he does, etc. He does this, he does that. One day, she, maybe she'll come on and she'll talk more about it. But, you know, he gets a point. So let's just say they, you know, they help you, you know, get the laundry together, whatever. That's two points, three points. And then at the end of the week, depending on whatever points they get, you know, then you can kind of figure out, okay, hey, you know, child one, I don't want to give any names, boy, girl, whatever. Like, John, like, hey, you know, we got 20 points. That means we can go to movies. Or, hey, you, because you could have negative points, too. They start acting up. You start throwing negative points, too. But, hey, we got negative points. You can't be playing the Xbox. You know, something like that, right? So, kind of use those things to also help you at the end of the day, you know? Why not? There's, there's a lot of people who just maybe don't have as much going on as you do. And for a lot of things, just for regular everyday life things, also for, like, a business, you know, I mean... Every business, you need a team. Like, you know, even here, therapy with a degree, that's one thing focusing on right now. We need that strong, strong team because we want to be able to help out everybody. We want to be able to give everyone some different perspective. We want to maybe make someone's day a little bit better, all that. So we got to find a team because it can't all be done by one, two people. It just, it's not, it's not happening. So same with you, well, whatever business you're in, whatever job you're in. You know, especially if you have a business, you can't be doing it all on your own. You'll be scraping your head, bugging out, wondering, well, I don't got enough time, this, that. Yo, sometimes, you you know, don't be afraid to hire somebody or don't be afraid to ask somebody for help. Okay. There's many different things you can kind of go about with doing that. Also, you know, establish routines and stick to them. Okay. As much as possible, you know, like. It, when crises like arrive, you'd be much more productive if you could follow routines. You know, like if something, God forbid, happened, you know, some type of emergency, whatever, you know, or something gets tight, you know, work wise gets tight, or something gets tight and you got to add more shit to your plate. Well, guess what? You already got a lot of routines going on. You could easily probably switch them up, do what you got to do. You know, for most people, creating and following a routine lets them get. Like, gets them right down to the tasks of the day. Like, whatever they really, really got to do, the routine, they set their routine up so they're getting the most important stuff done first. And you got to plan it out. It's every, it's strategic. Like, time is math. You know, you only get 24 hours. We we know it's never going to change, so make it work. And, okay, you know, get into the habit of setting time limits for tasks. Not just in like stuff you enjoy. Because before we said it for stuff you enjoy, you know, YouTube, things like that. But also, you know, for tasks. Like, 
you know, I don't know about y'all. I don't know many dudes in here listening, but folding clothes, yo. Folding clothes takes forever. And I feel like I used to do that shit in the fucking, in the laundromat, right? That shit used to take me so long. Thank God now. Shout out to my apartment now. I got a washer and dryer, so I don't really be worrying about it too much because I could do it right here at the house. But when I used to be in the laundromat, just sitting there, just oh, folding clothes, I used to want to pull my damn hair out. But I'm like, yo, I got there's got to be a way. Like I was bugging out because I knew I was wasting too much time. And what I should have did is I was being cheap. What I should have did is just paid the damn lady. You know, if I went at times when I had the extra call of bucks, I should have just paid the damn lady to do the clothes. Cause save up me time because during that time that whatever i was wasting folding these clothes maybe i ought to pay her 20 bucks but guess what i could have been hustling doing something that was going to make me 40 bucks so i would have made my loans your money and then made me another plus 20 bucks for whatever like who knows that's how you got to look at the shit so whatever e- even like something like that like, let's say i didn't and i was folding the clothes still all the time i could set a goal Be like all right joe you know, it probably takes, you, you, looks like you've been taking a long time to fold these clothes. Maybe next week when we go, you got to fold them in 45 minutes. You got to fold everything in 45 minutes. So you kind of have that goal to stick with. And then, you know, every week, it's just like kind of in the gym. You know, one week you, you're going to run two miles. Next day, three miles. Same, kind of the same thing. You know, with your time, you got to work that out. So you'd be like, all right, well, you know, um, do my uh, my laundry, fold my clothes, whatever. It's going to take me this amount of time. Next week, we're going to do it in this amount of time. So you kind of speed up the process a little bit, you know. So you never know. I kind of might help you with your time. Now, you know, be sure things are organized to clean, organized. That makes things run a lot smoother. I mean, it kind of sounds crazy, but, you know. If things are cleaner, you're getting to them faster, you're, you're handling them quicker, and that does add up. You know, those little extra couple seconds that you're looking for something that you don't know where it is, that adds up. And remember, we only have 24 hours in a day, so you got to take advantage of it, all right? Just kind of organize, try to be a little bit more clean, even if you think, hey, now if I'm mad clean, that's going to take out of my time. Nah, you could do it. I got faith. Um... And don't, like, waste time waiting, right? Because when you're waiting, you could be doing a lot of other shit while you're waiting, you know? Like, let's just say, you know, you're waiting to get your oil change. Like, yo, there's things you could do while you're getting your oil change. While you're just sitting there, you know, in the waiting room, whatever, like, let's just say, who knows, it all depends on what type of job you do, you know, what your tasks are, but just some examples, you know, let's just say you have to deal with a lot of paperwork, or whatever, like, you could be doing that type of stuff right there, or let's just say, you know, your job requires you to take a, make a lot of phone calls, you know, set up sales calls, whatever, you could be doing that right in the waiting room, setting up sales calls, be on the phone, pitching stuff, Right in the waiting room. You don't got to be in the office. And if it's too loud, go in the damn bathroom. Go in the fucking, go in the stall. All right? You could be in the damn stall making a sales call. And guess what? They ain't going to know where you are. Like, whatever you got to do. Um, You know, same thing kind of like, you know, they kind of joke about it. Like, you know, being on the phone when you're in the gym. But, you know, you can't be obviously messing around on your phone when you're working out. You you got you to gotta work out. But let's just say you know that in between workouts, you take like a two-minute rest, right? Let's just say you, you know those two minutes. Try to figure out maybe a task that you normally do that you can kind of real quick do in those two minutes. Like if it's something on your phone, whatever it is, if it's something written, maybe bring a notebook with you. You know, on the treadmill, it's just if, if you're running, I mean, hit interval training is great. So... You can run, and then real quick while you're walking, bang, maybe you got to jot something down or an idea or something. Just try to think of these little methods. Like I said, it all really depends on your your task, what you're doing, and then we can kind of figure out a way. So I want y'all, after you listen to this, I want you to hit me up and, you know, let me know what you think, what, you know, what your tasks are and how we can fit them in better. 
Okay, I love doing that. I love uh, writing everything out and kind of fitting it in, like I've said a million times already, fitting it in like a puzzle, right? So, you know, usually I'll, I'll write down the first, the things that we can't change, right? Things we can't change. You know, for some of us that have a J-O-B, just over broke, for people that have that, that's the first thing, you know what I mean? Because you, you, you're, it's set stone. You can't do anything about it, unfortunately, until you, you know, you make a business, become an entrepreneur, and start champing shit out. So, you have that, right? So you you mark that down, and then you figure, okay, what's my next highest priority, right? Um, you know, if you have kids, what time you got to pick your kids up? What time you're gonna be with your kids? What time you're gonna help them with homework? What time you're gonna go to their baseball game? You know, stuff like that. Children. If you don't have any children, next is maybe your health. So what time are we going to the gym? Right? Um, Adding in, what time are we maybe going to do some meditation, some relaxing, some me time, some TV? You want to schedule that in too. You know, obviously sometimes you want it to be organic. But even if you kind of schedule it to a point, just kind of to fit in, you know your time. You may not know exactly what you're doing, what your you time is, but you know that you have from this to this time to be you, to be free, to kind of do what you want to do. Okay? Then, you know, grocery store, grocery store. Plan that out. Okay, what day am I going grocery shopping? Because a lot of the, these little things that we don't think about kind of screws up our cycle. You know, um, ladies going to the nail salon, you know, getting your hair done, fellas going to the barber shop. Like I, I know, you know, I'm gonna be in the chair waiting. You know, if, if it's a busy barber shop like mine, you can probably be waiting for like an hour unless you got an appointment. Um, same thing, stuff like that. Like if you have, if financially you got it like that, right? Yo, do the appointments, do stuff like that. It could really help you out and you get more time to do better stuff, right? Even if you say, nah, <laughs> you know, I don't got the money, Joe, for no appointments. You can kind of figure out, okay, you know, to, to, to money management. What am I doing with my my money? You know, maybe, maybe instead of going out and having six drinks on a Friday night, I'm going to only have three drinks. And those extra three drinks, I'm going to use that money to, to pay and have my laundry done. Or I'm going to pay and get, you know, an appointment at the nail salon or the barbershop. I don't know, barbershops, they usually pay for appointments. I don't know how the ladies do it. But, for example, things like that. So it kind of free up, you know, your time. So we got that. We got the appointments. What else? What info could we give you guys? My bad. I'm talking in third person. So used to talking to co-hosts. Hopefully, Walt will be with us again soon. Um, That's it, yo. Like, really, just write it out. Write out everything you have to do on a piece of paper. Fit it in and just write it. That's it. Like, if you have to wake up earlier, you have to wake up earlier. You have to grind. If you have to go to sleep a little later, you have to go to sleep a little later. Like, you know, you put your work and then also put your sleep. You know, let's... Like everyone needs sleep. I recommend uh, checking out that book called Sleep Smarter. It's actually um, by Sean Sean Stevenson. He's really really good. He now that book. That's gonna tell you like at the end of the day, not a lot of people always need eight hours. Some people that are good at seven and a half. Some people are good at seven, etc. Whatever. So find your number. Find your sleep number. How much sleep you really need for you. Put that in the schedule and then work around it. That your job and then everything else fit in and say okay this is this is something i have to do this is not something i want to do if 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 it's the desire is to really go to the gym if it's to lose weight then you say i'm going this is the time this is where it works this is where it makes sense and just make it happen that's it it's clear it's simple all right we all have the same 24 hours like Donald Trump, <laughs> he's a shitty, I don't like him, but guess what, he's a president, he gotta do stuff, etc., whatever, yo, got the same 24 hours as me and you, anybody, everybody, all these actors, all these people, you know, like, any, anybody, anybody you know that you think maybe is hustling, that's doing things, The Rock, yeah, they have money, so obviously their time is different, anybody, 
You see people going to two, three jobs, going to school. This, that. Yo, we all get the same 24 hours. It's not like they bought more time. They didn't buy more iCloud storage. Like, you know what I mean? So that's it. Make it happen. And I hate, I hate the excuse that people say, oh, they have kids. That is an excuse. Um, in my opinion, that is an excuse. Some of you are going to say, ah, Joe, you don't have a kid. I have a stepdaughter that I raised since she was three and a half. She's nine years old. I lived with her for a very, very long time. I know exactly how it is to have a kid. 100% how it is to have a kid. However, your life didn't stop just, be ha- because, just because you had a kid. Or just because you had two kids, three kids. Your life did not stop. Okay? You have to find a way. You know, you have to work it out and you have to just plan it to where you still got to do everything you have to do in those 24 hours. That's it. Like, to get where you want to be, that, that's that's what you have to do. There's, there's no if ands, or buts, pretty much. So, I know, I know I'm going to think of more when it comes to this time management, but... <laughs> It's like a Rubik's Cube, but it ain't as hard as a Rubik's Cube. All right. Just got to fit it all together. Um, also, just so you guys know, you know, the wings and visions. We got all that. All right. So wings and visions every Wednesday. Also, I don't know if I said it on here because like I said, I'm late. My bad people. But I'm actually now doing the wings and visions virtual via FaceTime. Okay, um, via FaceTime, Facebook Messenger, you know, WhatsApp Messenger, something like that, right? We can kick it, and I'm gonna hook you guys up with a vision board. All right, so you get the you get the the FaceTime and the visions. You don't get the wings because obviously we're not there. We're not going to the Applebee's, all that. However, if you want to just link and you want to chat and and all that type of stuff, I will make you the vision board for free. However, you know, you have to, you know, we set an appointment, we make it happen, we FaceTime, and then we're going to make you a vision board. Because I feel like there's a lot of people who just aren't right here in the North Jersey area that want one. Like, I've had many people hit me up, and I've done this already. And I was like, now nah, we just got to announce it. We got to do it full scale. So anybody that's listening to this, if you live in fucking California, and you're like, damn, Joe, I don't know when you come to Cali. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want you sitting there waiting for a vision board. And, you know, obviously, you know, if not. Just do it yourself. You know, maybe that'll motivate you to do it yourself. But guess what? If not, hit me up. We'll make it happen. I'll FaceTime you. There's no excuses. We just got to get shit popping now because we don't know when our last day is going to be. All right. Um, also, it's almost the end of the month. So I really want to make sure that we are all staying on top of our goals. Whatever New Year's resolutions we had, let's stay on top of them. Um, and if you feel like you don't have enough time... <laughs> you just heard the perfect episode for it, all right? So, you know, a lot of people, they make these New Year's resolutions, and then they're like, oh, nah, I don't got the time, too busy. Nah, we're not too busy. You just, you just, you know, you haven't perfected your, your time management yet. That's it. It's simple. It's easy. You know, a lot of people go through it. A lot of people have it. But also, a lot of people kill their time management. So, yes. Stay on top of your New Year's resolutions. We got that. Also, this podcast is actually brought to you by Drive Smart, Buy Smart. Okay. It's a really dope um, new company. Okay. They're based out of New Jersey. So basically, they get you whatever car that you want. So you could kind of pick the car. You could say, hey, I want a Honda Accord 2014, whatever. And they get you the car at wholesale price. And that's dope because I never heard of that before. I heard always, you know, you go to the dealer and you got to pay all this extra money. You got to wait. You got to do all this shit. You got to pay all this crazy, crazy interest. They get you the best price. Okay. Best interest rates. All that because they work with all the top in the line finance managers. And they get you the car at wholesale price. Because all they do is they collect a small fee, which is way cheaper than all the other crazy fees that the dealership charges you. Dealership, they they tack in so many different fees into that bill that you don't even know about. These people, they charge you a really, really small fee, right? They get that, and then everything else, they figure, fuck it. They're not making them money off the car anyway. They can't. So they get you the car at the best, best rate. So check them out on Instagram. It's drivesmart.com. 
by Smart. Okay. Also, this podcast is brought to you by Easy Life Affordable Cleaning. Okay. So you want to make your life a little easier, hire some cleaners to clean your house, your business, anything at the best price around. Check them out too on Instagram, Easy Life Cleaning, at Easy Life Cleaning. And my bad, y'all, for a short podcast. We are going to have some more guests um, coming up soon. And if you're listening to this right now and you want a guest on a Therapeut at a Degree podcast, just message me. Uh, y'all know where to find me. My personal Instagram is at Mr. Superman underscore zero three. Say that one more time for the people at Mr. Superman underscore zero three or our therapy page, which is at therapy with a degree, all that. So find me, hit me up, um, manage your time better. Let's make it happen. Anything that you want to do, you can do it to obtainable. It can happen. So, other than that, what am I going to shout out for the week? What am I going to shout out for the week? Hmm. Actually, no, I'm a shout out. I'm a, I'm a big fan of him. A lot of, you, a lot of y'all know, but I, you know, I usually try not to to talk about it too too much on here. I'm a big fan of Joe Budden, man, and I want to give him a shout out. For his oh what a night, um, I didn't get to go to it. Unfortunately, really wanted to go. I'm upset. I'm definitely gonna go to the next one. But I heard his oh what a night um, event was amazing. No people that went to it. They said it was really really dope. It was popping. I'm gonna be at the next one. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you slipping and you gotta go follow up Joe Button and you go see the oh what a night. Okay, it was really really dope. So shout out to him. Because he's just had a killer year. I've been a fan of him for a while. Music is amazing. I think he's top five rapper. Fucking awesome. I listen to his podcast. He inspired me to do this podcast. Many people heard that story. But he's just doing a lot of really dope shit, yo. And uh, Oh What A Night was amazing. So, shout out to him. Shout out to Oh What A Night. If you're in the New York, New Jersey area, go to the next one. It's in February. I'll be there. We'll kick it. We'll have a good time. Other than that, hit me up. Sorry for the late podcast. It was being late and sorry it's not too long. But like I said, y'all don't want to listen to me for...